Hello friends, today I am going to discuss with you a big opportunity from ONGC MRPL. I am going to give you the complete details about the ONGC recruitment in MRPL by using your GATE 2022 scorecard. So let us proceed. You have to go to the official website of MRPL that is Mangalore Refinery and Petrochemical Limited. It is a subsidiary of ONGC, Oil and Natural Gas Corporation Limited. Now it is about the recruitment of assistant engineers and assistant executives in the E2 grade through GATE 2022 examination score. It is a mini Ratna company. It is a mini Ratna company. It is a central public sector enterprise so you can understand that this is going to be a big opportunity and because it is um, a subsidiary of ONGC then definitely this is going to give you a big platform to explore new and new heights in your career. Some important points I want to discuss so that you can apply this recruitment. Uh, the selection process consists of group discussion and the personal interview. So if you apply for this recruitment, depending upon your GATE scorecard, a merit list is going to be formed and candidates are called, going to be called for group discussion and the personal interview. And let me tell you that here, group discussion is going to be of good quality. So be prepared for that. Don't take it lightly. The initial shortlisting of the candidates for the aforesaid selection process will be based on the valid GATE 2022 marks. And result from any previous or other gate examination will not be considered. So be very clear that you can only apply through gate 2022 marks. Is it clear? Further, let us see what are the details of the vacancies. So for chemical number of seats are 28, mechanical 24, civil 2, Electrical 7, Instrumentation 11, Computer Science 5. Now please understand, suppose I talk about electrical or especially if I talk about civil, then you understand. Even though the number of seats are less, but how many seats you want? You want only one seat? So you never ever give uh, this thought to your mind that number of seats are less. So the possibility of getting through in this examination is less. No, this is not the case. I have seen lot of examples throughout my experience mentoring the gate and engineering services aspirants that sometimes there are 200 seats still people are not getting selected sometimes there are five seats 10 seats and people get selected so that happens that day is your day or not that is important so don't go into this spiral of number of seats just go with a free mind apply appear in the interview group discussion and give your best performance so you can see what are the minimum essential qualifications. For example, if I talk about electrical, so here electrical engineering candidates can apply and electrical and electronics engineering candidates can apply. Okay. So similarly, you can see what is the basic uh, minimum qualification required. Next, what are the details of post and the reservation? For example, if you see chemical out of 28 seats, 12 seats are unreserved, then 2 seats for economically weaker section, 8 seats for OBC non creamy layer, 4 seats for scheduled caste, and 2 seats for scheduled tribes. Then there is 1 seat for persons with disability also. SLD stands for specific learning disability. Similarly, for other branches also, for mechanical, civil, electrical, instrumentation, computer science, and chemistry, you can see what are the number of posts and how is the reservation if i talk about electrical you can see there are four unreserved one for the obc one for sc one for st and one for persons with disability and hh stands for hard of hearing similarly for other branches you can see let us talk about the upper age limit this is very important Maximum 27 years for the unreserved category and economically weaker section category. The cutoff date for deciding the maximum permissible age limit shall be 15th of 
January 2023. So on this date, your age should be maximum 27 years, not more than that. Now there is some relaxation also for some of the categories. For example, for OBC non layer, there is a relaxation of three years. So instead of 27 years, on 15th of January 2023, maximum age should be for OBC non layer 30 years. Similarly, for SCST, there is a relaxation of five years. So on 15th of January 2023, candidates belonging to SCST category, they should be maximum 32 years of age. Now, in addition to the upper age limit uh, mentioned, persons with benchmark disability, having minimum 40% disability, they are entitled for 10 years of age relaxation. Okay. And there is relaxation in age as per the ex-servicemen, uh, as per the rules of Government of India. So, if you belong to this category, you can go for this. Let us see the educational qualifications and some other eligibility criteria. The first and foremost thing is you can apply only through date 2022 marks. Okay. Third point, there should be minimum 60% aggregate marks in the essential qualification. For example, if you have done BE or BTEC, whatever you have done, then there should be minimum 60% marks. For other categories, there is criteria of 50% marks. So if you are from uh, unreserved category, EWS or OBC non layer, then you fall in the minimum 60% aggregate marks category. Otherwise for other categories, there is 50% aggregate marks category. Fourth point is important. Minimum percentage of marks in the essential qualification as indicated above shall be aggregated of all semesters to be calculated taking average of all the semesters years irrespective of the weightage given to any particular semester year subjects by the institute or the university so your total marks all the semesters divided by the number of semesters that is how you have to calculate it and there is no rounding off also if it's coming 59.999 then it cannot be termed as 60%. It is less than 60%. So that is a criteria for this qualification. Next point. The equivalence in percentage of marks will be established by multiplying the CGPA, OGPA grade by a factor of 10. Subject to the condition that the candidate has to submit documentary proof that the university does not have any formula for conversion of CGPA, OGP or grade to the corresponding percentage. So if your university or institute offers CGPA or OGPA or grade instead of the marks, then you have to follow this rule. So these are some more important points. You can go through this. Okay. Next important is scale of pay, probation period and what are the emoluments. Emoluments means apart from the monetary salary that you are getting, what are the other benefits? So candidates who are selected as assistant engineer, assistant executives will receive a starting basic pay of 50,000 rupees per month and shall be placed on training come probation in pay scale of 50,000 to 160,000 as per the company rules. There will be dearance allowance and HRA, township accommodation, perks, allowances under the cafeteria approach and other allowances benefits as per the company rules may be admissible. My experience says that the <coughs> emoluments are going to be very good, very attractive and the salary is also going to be very good. So this is one of the sought after job for you. There is a service bond also. For general candidates, the service bond amounts to 3 lakh rupees and for all other categories, it is of 50,000 rupees. Okay. And the bond stands for a minimum period of 3 years from the date of joining. What is the selection process? Already I have told you. The shortlisting of the candidates for GD, that is group discussion and personal interview, will be done on the basis of the marks obtained by them out of 100 marks in the GATE 2022 examination. 
then candidates call for G, uh, group discussion and interview will be in the ratio of 1 is to 5. So whatever is the number of seats, multiply it by 5. That is how many candidates are going to be called for interview. So suppose if there are 7 seats in electrical, so multiplied by 5, total 35 candidates are going to be called for group discussion and interview. Okay. In case there are multiple candidates having the same gate marks, then the candidates who has got higher marks in essential qualification mentioned and uh, that is going to be considered first. The final merit list of the candidates will be prepared as per the prevailing rules of the MRPL organization. Application fee, important. For general OBC candidates, they require to pay a non-refundable application fee of 118 rupees. 100 is the application fee and 18 rupees is the GST. Okay. Now for SCST, PWDX, persons with the disability, ex servicemen categories, they are exempted from the payment of application fee. Okay. So only general OBC, EWS category has to pay the fee. Okay. So there are some important. Uh, inputs for fee payment you can read them important thing is if you are called then you can avail the luxury of third ac train fare because you will be reimbursed for group discussion and interview okay important dates and links the cutoff date for deciding the maximum permissible age is 15th of January 2023. So first thing you have to do is you have to calculate your age up to 15th of January 2023. Date of commencement of online application. It is going to start from 17th of December 10 a.m. And date of closing of online application. It is going to be closed on 15th of January 2023 till uh, 6 p.m. in the evening. The date of group discussion and personal interview. It will be available on the official website of MRP. So friends, I hope uh, uh, this discussion uh, will give you the right guidance to apply for this recruitment. So do not forget to apply for this recruitment. 17th, the recruitment process will be starting online application.